duty area of combat operations. Be ready. Oh, hey, look, it let us load in. Uh, hey there, Postal here. We are in a tier 10 battle. We are in our Hunter. The plane is really freaking good. Really, really freaking good. Um, I just need to play it better. It's got these 30 millimeter cannons, which of course can be very fickle if you're not aiming them properly. There we go. Let's go ahead and get over to the mining facility. ASAP AP. And let's boost on over there. What is this? This is tier 10 British multi-role fighter. It has a lot going for it. Really good speed. A hell of a lot of bombs and rockets for air to ground ability. You get these four 30 millimeter cannons, which absolutely tear up ground targets. And ooh, there's obviously a bomber over here somewhere. Let's go ahead and see what we can do there. Did I get it all? I did. Let's knock out this SU-10. Nope. Sorry, sir. Oh, you're coming back anyway? Maybe. Nope. He's coming back in this direction, but not how he was thinking. We've taken over the plant. There we go, get these 30 millimeter cannons. They don't care about no SU-10. That's for sure. Let's keep on pushing. I want my team to keep getting that. And we are going to use DOS boost in here. 14 seconds on the reload. We got 21 seconds on the reload of our bombs. And this is why this plane is just so good. Bombs don't reload super quickly, but they reload quickly enough. The guns hit incredibly hard. You got pretty darn good speed. I don't even have this thing specialized, of course. Uh, but you can set this up for maneuverability as well. And then really mess with people. Hey, Floyd. The enemy has gathered forces to attack the command center. Be cautious. Uh, let's see, what do we got? We got bombs. We got some freaking guns. What's near us? Ground attacker, that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and get this guy rid of. Come on. Oh, he's got his rockets though. Yep. I was hoping to kill him before he killed me. Unfortunately, didn't do that. Really bad play on my part, but... Yeah. It is what it is. Um, they're about to get the mining facility again, so let's go ahead and respawn over there. What is our SU-10 doing? He's got to be doing something. Um, where is he? Oh, he's over here. Okay. Uh, let's go defend this uh, garrison, and then we're going to move along to the mining facility that is clearly going to be taken over. Wing golf. Alright, dude. That's a name. Gotta aim further out with these. Make sure you're giving enough lead. And let's go ahead and get the mining facility back. They've also got a ground attacker. They do. Seven. Just let it go. Perfect. Pulling up. Get our rockets back. Um, can we? Shall we? There we go. Rockets actually hit something else. Up, oh, yep, we need to go back and get the last little bit of that section. Hello. Overheating my guns like a freaking cracker jack. I'm gonna have my bombs back here shortly. We've got that 1101 coming back in though. It's not coming for us. 
that's cool. Not yet, anyway. He's in precariously low health, so all we need to do is get a shot in on him. Perfect. Um, I kind of don't want to... Oh, yeah, we don't need to use our, gun, our bomb. I was like, kind of want to save our bomb. Should be able to get this. There we go. They still haven't gotten this um, command center, so that's really cool. We are doing some, some heavy lifting over there. Our SU-10 is clearly um, being a huge pain Enemy in the ass over there. So kudos to him. Got this one sector left to do. Oh, hey, sir, how you doing? How's it going? Yeah, he's toast. SU-10 or not, it's not a lot you can do about it. So 1102 is on much fuller health, so we'll see if we've actually got the ability to kill him. Especially with our guns not working how I want them to. Not get bomb dropped. Do the old up and over. There we go. He's got to go the direction I want him to go, so. And we've got a bomber back inbound here. Oh, come on, F7U, that was totally mine. Uh, oh, shoot. Defend this sector a little bit here. Maybe get some decent shots in. There we go. Come on. Come on, 30s, work with me. We have complete control of the skies. Way to go. Oh my goodness. Cannot, cannot for the life of me continue chasing a guy that I can apparently barely keep up with. There we go. Working it. Wow. I was uh, doing the heavy lifting there. Doing a little bit of everything, which I l absolutely love about this plane. Um, and we obviously had a lot of help from Infinite Zero there. Just able to neutralize the two of them. Let's head on back. Alright, so nothing over the top too crazy there. Was able to get 10 kills. Did some ground damage when needed. Um, good teamwork here. I'm going to say, you know, Infinite Zero obviously did a lot of the uh, capping work there. He was able to capture four sectors. We captured three. Um... Really just able to kind of neutralize their two sector captures, right? Um, and that's what I like about the, the Hunter, is if you need to be defensive plane, you can be a defensive plane. You need to be an offensive plane, you can be the offensive plane. Now, I've got mine set up for pure speed at this point. Um, I'm not quite sure how my setup is going to be once I specialize this plane. Um, polished skin obviously takes away from aircraft maneuverability so I don't know if lightweight wing frame is going to be the best choice something that's going to be adding maneuverability kind of neutralizing the polished skin or not I'm going to be playing it by ear and we'll see how it goes as far as the pilot is concerned I do have a 9 point pilot on this particular plane I think I pulled this. This is the same pilot that I've had since the Hurricane 2. Um, and so we do have Marksman 2 on here, which should, you know, in theory, help uh, when it comes to uh, maneuvering targets. And eh, yeah, it was helping there a little bit. I was also, you know, playing poorly on some of my aiming there. And that's really what this plane comes down to is uh, what's your ability to hit things with the 30 millimeter cannons? I've got Demolition Expert on here because I do use the bomb and rockets, bombs and rockets quite a bit. I want to make sure that's having a positive impact. And then Aerodynamics Expert is my last option here. This will be a better option once I have um, the plane specialized. I'm definitely going to be going for Aerobatics Expert next. But even though I didn't get top place in this particular battle, battle in the Hunter, 
I still think this shows you exactly what this plane is capable of. Uh, you know, we were having to deal with Su-10 and uh, Me-1102, right? Specialized, but the cannons on this plane can deal with that kind of um, enemy. The cannons on this plane can deal with all kinds of enemy aircraft because they just hit so hard and they've got just that, just enough range on them um, to be hitting things before uh, before they typically are hitting you. Unless you're going head-on versus a uh, batwing, tier 10 batwing. Um, but you know, when we needed to drop bombs, we had bombs ready. When we needed to f um, fling our rockets, our rockets were ready. And so you're really just able to, to do whatever needs to be done. And that's why the Hunter is such a strong plane. Absolutely strong plane. Probably the most multi-roll uh, of multi-rolls at tier 10. Um, you know, something like the F-84 has all those bombs and rockets as well. In fact, you've got slightly bigger rockets and definitely bigger, um, quote unquote, tiny Tims. Uh, they are tiny Tims, but they're definitely big rockets there. Uh, but this plane lacks the the f overall firepower of the Hunter. This plane here has just six 50 cal machine guns. The Hunter is definitely, definitely, definitely got its beat on firepower. It's got a beat on speed. Thing that the um, F-84 has is maneuverability, which is nice for a multi-roll. Um, it's going to be more of a dogfighting type multi-roll, or this is more of an attacking type multi-roll. Um, but there's something to be said about just the ability to absolutely waste to enemy aircraft, and the 30 millimeter cannons that are on the Hunter can certainly do that. If you've flown the P-228 or the Javelin, this is the same cannons that you have on the Javelin, your 30 millimeter Aiden cannons, they really do some heavy lifting work. This battle, I didn't have to do any kind of carrying. I just had to really be a huge pain in the ass to the enemies. Um, and this plane can certainly be that pain in the ass. But this plane can also carry if you need to carry. Just enough to do it today. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this particular video. I can't imagine, normally I ask at my videos, at the end of my videos, you know, do you agree with my assessment? Do you think this plane's a good plane or do you think it's a bad plane? I have yet to run into anybody that thinks the Hunter's a bad plane. And I would seriously question their judgment if they did, if they said that this plane was a poor tier 10 multi-roll. So I'm going to leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great day. Bye.